thank you for your interest in this article. Uh, it's been um, a real adventure to write it because I was studying the memoirs and the diaries of a German soldier in war who later became a famous economist in uh, West Germany. You know, there's lots of research about um, uh, economics after the Second World War in the 1950s and 1960s. However, what I think um, uh, has been um, uh, ignored in this literature is that those people who brought about economics uh, after the Second World War, as we know it, economics of models, they did so on the basis of uh, memories of war and violence. And what I do in this article is to show that these memories of um, uh, violence and the fascination for um, uh, more scientific economics is no contradiction at all. And um, uh, I do so on the basis of the um, uh, case of Wilhelm Krelle, who um, uh, has been um, a soldier in the German army before 1945 and um, after became celebrated as a modernizer of German economics, of um, uh, macroeconometrics, um, uh, neo-Keynesian in particular. So I treat economics not as something which uh, more or less well represents um, uh, the economy, but more as something which um, uh, appeals to and responds to the needs of a specific historical character. And this character in this case is, um, uh, has deeply German roots. It's um, uh, Wilhelm Krelle is um, a stereotypical case of a Prussian character. Service to a higher cause, patriotism, Protestantism, selflessness, and also a full commitment to one's profession are the basic um, uh, features of this character. Krelle liked the simple mechanical reasoning of macroeconometric models because it resonated well with his Prussian virtues of seeing moral and also political and social life as a matter of protocol, rules, rather than uh, sentiments and um, affections. In short, you're dealing with a personality shaped by Prussian virtues that could flourish both in Hitler's army and then later uh, in post-war macroeconometrics. Uh, one of these uh, virtues um, uh, that links these two careers was a clear sense of obedience and rule following, not to question authority and equally not to be responsible for the decisions of higher ranks um, uh, was a basic um, uh, character of his attitude. Just as positive economics, think of it, asks not to be political for the sake of objectivity, the military asks um, uh, not to question the decisions of higher ranks for um, uh, the sake of uh, military order. Uh, another virtue is also deeply embodied uh, in the moral structure of this generation, of our grandparents' generation, of my grandparents' generation, not to show remorse or guilt or any kind of weakness and to make up for these feelings with hard work. Krelle, he suffered terrible losses during his um, uh, life that um, uh, related to feelings of guilt. He sent many soldiers into meaningless death. Uh, he lost um, his son on a, on a hiking trip, um, a passion that he himself um, uh, taught him. And he also could do nothing against the manic depressive disorder of his wife that led into her suicide. But he was never able to speak about these um, uh, feelings of guilt attached to these losses. Uh, he could not show any weakness, but instead made up for it by creating an ever greater macroeconometric model. And in that sense, his entire work was a failed existential struggle to find peace. And that's the reason why he chose the title, War After War. And I think this is also symptomatic for an entire generation uh, and all the cultural monuments that this generation brought about after the Second World War. We are talking about the same generation as that of um, uh, Gerard de Breu. Economic modeling for those, for this generation, allowed them to have a career, to be seen, to receive recognition without being confronted as a person, without being confronted with their past, without showing 
vulnerability. You know how feminists um, uh, once said that um, uh, personal is political. I think we should add that the scientific is also personal. When we celebrate, it, celebrate advances in economics, we should also ask what kind of characters do we celebrate? What kind of characters are necessary to um, uh, bring about this or that kind of um, uh, economics? Of course, Wilhelm Krelle is um, a special case, but um, uh, what is present also in, other, in all other cases, we learn at um, uh, yeah, the example of extreme cases. So thanks a lot for your interest once again and um, uh, enjoy reading. Thank you.